Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, this will be a real quick video. Just uh, grab my phone to film this. I'm out and about again. Finally starting to consistently exercise. This is my next uh, Fat Man Diaries update. Um, although I'm not at 300 yet, I'm getting there. Slowly but surely. Uh, the food has been awesome. Really eating well, just uh, I have to fit in the other part of that equation, which is working out more. Much more. So right now I'm taking a walk down a, uh, a path. This is a uh, wooded trail. And it's kind of, it's not very, it's not used very often. You can see that there is markings on the trees, but they're all fading stuff. So hopefully I don't get lost. It is a fairly small path. I think it's just under two miles. So I've uh, been walking for about I don't know, 25 minutes now and starting to feel it a little bit. It's very uh, uneven. The whole thing's rocky, you know, so that's the only thing that's getting me is my ankles are killing me because I'm not wearing boots. I don't have ankle support, so... But I want to kind of give you guys uh, an update. I am working on it. Uh, no excuses. I got lazy. There's no reason why I shouldn't be 50 pounds lighter since, you know, I started doing this. But I'm motivated again. Um, actually, I'll tell you what got me motivated today to get out and start doing this is watching a video from uh, to Toy Tolstoy Kofsky. Tolstoy Kofsky. Check out the channel. I'm going to put a link down in the uh, description. I've been watching him for years. And uh, I just really like his personality. I know he's kind of quirky. A little crazy. A little ADD-ish. Um, really awesome guy. And I've been following his videos, God, for years. And every time he posts one, I really, really enjoy it. Um, I remember finding him way back when just because he was into knives. But, uh, I don't know. Just... Uh, interesting character and he recently did a video he's got into uh, hiking at, at different uh, you know state parks and stuff and I was watching it today and I'm like what the hell am I doing sitting here watching videos I gotta get out and do something so thank you very much for that that extra little bit of uh, motivation but hopefully this will uh, continue and I think my goal right now is to come out and do this in addition to other exercises I'm doing at least three times a week maybe every day we'll see but I, I you know I want to do this so I'm not going to drag this video out, just a quick little update on that. I'm happy to be out and about. It actually feels really good to just be out here in the woods, in nature. There's a million squirrels and chipmunk running around. I am armed, in case I see a bear, because they are here. And actually, my, my neighbor just had a bear trap put up because pushed in through her garage trying to get some garbage that was in there. And the guy down the street, it was trying to get into his porch, so he fired off a couple rounds with his revolver. This was like maybe two, three weeks ago, so... They're active. I know they're out and about, so you got to be, you know, precautious. But anyway, that's it. Um, just a quick little video. <sighs> Trying to do it. So we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. Thank you so much for the support, even through me not losing weight for a while, or at least losing weight at an extremely slow pace. I've still gotten extremely supportive messages, trying to keep me going in the right direction, and and I appreciate it. Quite a quite a big thing for me I mean it's hard to express in words how much that means to me other people want to see me succeed as well as myself so thank you for that all right well you guys can't see it right down there I don't think you can see it there is a mama turkey and she's got some little turklets or whatever the hell they're called and uh, totally silent sitting over there this is down pine tree here this conifer laying almost sad all dead from a storm looks like um, I'm coming around that corner, and she's sitting like right here with her little babelets. I don't know. What the, what the hell is a baby turkey called? I guess it's just a baby turkey. I don't know. I can't think of it right now. And I got totally spooked because as I'm coming around the corner, she made a violent noise because she was spooked. And uh, I jumped and drew my gun. <laughs> Noticing it was just a turkey, I was cool with that, started walking on my way. She held her ground and sat there and made some vicious noise. And I'm like, oh, I hope this thing doesn't attack me. I don't want to shoot a turkey right now. And so uh, I made my way over to where I am now. And she slowly walked back to the end of the tree and then took off with the babies. So that was quite frightening. Um, I didn't bring an extra pair of underwear, but luckily I don't need them right now. But that would totally scared the hell out of me. I was very not ready for that. I was actually looking up in the trees enjoying the view, the sun's gonna go down soon. Thinking, you know, cause I'm out here by myself, it's a great time to think. Um, 
this uh, little short hiking, I, hiking with a quote there, it's not extreme or anything, but I love doing this with my wife, she loves coming out, we love camp gear, all that kind of stuff, as you guys know. So we'll stop out here, have lunch and all kinds of stuff. I'll play with my knives, do some hacking here and there with some trees. And uh, so I'm usually with her. I don't do this uh, alone all that often. So it's nice. It's just different. You know, I'm collecting my thoughts and thinking about stuff as I'm walking here and exercising. And I uh, was definitely not ready for that. It scared the shit out of me. So Back on my way, I was hoping to get some of it on film, but I was kind of just trying to get out of the way there. And now they're off. So I'm going to continue on my little journey. I thought I'd tell you that little story there. All right, I have to share this with you real quick. I'm walking by and see this thing, which looks to be litter, right? But when you focus in on, you can see that it's half of a sign. They used to say, please keep trails litter free. I don't know, I find humor in that. So moving on. All right, you know what I'm seeing a lot of, and I can't get them on camera, because I'm filming with my phone and I can't zoom in on the uh, camcorder out here, which I probably should have brought. But uh, I'm seeing a lot of black squirrels. That's right, black squirrels. I just think they're pretty damn cool and rare. And, uh, but they're not. I see them all the time now. And correct me if I'm wrong, because I really don't know. And well, I suppose I could look it up on my phone. But uh, I'm pretty sure that black squirrels are really just gray squirrels that are in some kind of transitional phase. I don't know. Write down in the comments if you know more about that. But I'm pretty sure I told someone that once. I'm like, oh, I saw a black squirrel. It's cool. And they're like, eh, it's a gray squirrel. Just something that happens throughout their life. So I don't really know if that's true or not. I don't remember looking it up. Just an interesting thought. All right. We're coming up on civilization. I think uh, the uh, trail's almost up. I see the road out yonder somewhere. Uh, turn the camera back on to tell you guys a quick little story. I remember way back when, I was probably 19 or so, I was having a conversation with my uh, parents about getting out, exercising, you know, we're all talking about it, you know, we should all go for walks or something as a family, and uh, I made them come to this, this very trail, and they walked it with me, and they were troopers, they didn't really want to do it, but I thought it would be a fun family thing to do, so they you know, played along with me, and uh, <laughs> before we left, I don't know if it was my mom or my dad, they said, like, you know, we got to make sure to wear pants. There's probably ticks and stuff. And I'm like, yeah, it's a trail. You're not going to, you're not walking through this. You're walking through the trail. You're not going to get ticks. And when do you know it, right at the very end, the very end of our walk, they must have walked through a uh, tick nest. Because we jumped in the car and we're talking about, oh, that was so much fun. We'll do it again. I looked down and I probably had... 30 or 40 ticks on my legs. I freaked out. I jumped out. My, my dad, I think, had it on uh, his legs, too, and my mom. We were literally, like, in the parking lot, all jumped out of the car with it running, all screaming, knocking them off us. It was it was pretty horrific. Ooh, little, little chipmunk. Um, yeah, I just thought that was pretty funny, since I specifically mentioned that it's not going to be a problem, and we happened to run into, like, the worst tick problem we've ever had. So, luckily, nothing ever attached to us. Of course, went home. Took turns, you know, taking showers and checking ourselves and stuff. That's some nasty stuff. I don't know if you guys ever walked through a tick nest. I did one other time in my life. I was with my friend Chris growing up. And we always spent time in the woods hanging out, climbing crap we shouldn't have been. You know, doing lots of stuff we shouldn't have been doing. Lighting off M80s and shooting pellet guns and all kinds of crap. But, uh, yeah, I did that back then, too. Ran through a nest. And they're all crawling on you. It's like the freakiest thing. I don't mind bugs. I can't do ticks. Ticks freak me out. I don't like mosquitoes, obviously. That's annoying. But the ticks are the worst. All right. I spoke too damn soon. A little, a little son of a bitch. Let's see. Friggin' can't stand these things. Come on, get off me. Friggin' nasty. Damn, I gotta go check myself. I just talked about it. And the very end of the trail, they, they pretty they do a pretty good job of keeping this trail free of crap. But right at the end, they make you walk through uh, all this damn grass. All right, I freaked out. I gotta get home and uh, strip down and get in the shower. All right, thanks for watching. See you guys soon. Take care.